painfully slow journey back to land. The Triumph is being towed towards Alabama after an engine fire knocked out power on Sunday. Conditions below deck are said to be so awful, many passengers have decided to stay up top. Lots of flooded toilets and wet carpets. Tugs still not here at 4.06 p.m. It was supposed to be four days of luxury, but messages of misery are coming out from some of the thousands stuck on board. Those are my children on that vessel, so I'm concerned. They were having to take care of business in a bag so that it could be disposed of. Nick Ware's mother's also been filling him in, but tales of sewage running down the walls and sweltering heat aren't doing much to reassure him. She's had to queue for hours just to get a snack. The people who did actually have meat on their burgers were, uh, it was cold. Um, and the remainder of the people, once they ran out of the cooked meat, it's basically just onions and things like that on the sandwiches. The company insists it's trying to make people as comfortable as possible and has played down fears of an outbreak of illness, saying most of the liner's public toilets are working. Let me assure you that no one here from Carnival is happy about the conditions on board the ship. And we obviously are very, very sorry about what is taking place. Yet more damage control for the firm that owns the capsized Costa Concordia. Carnival has promised refunds and money off future cruises, something many passengers are unlikely to take it up on. Liz Lane, Sky News.